you just want to say your name and stuff again? Sure. Okay. Um, my name is Gail. I'm on the Seeker team, and this is my fifth year, actually. Uh, and I'm a co-term, product design and mechanical engineering. Um, yeah, I redshirted a year, so I had an extra year of eligibility and was using that up this year. Cool. Uh, why did you, when did you redshirt? Uh, so my one? junior year, I had surgery on my hip and was out the whole year. So it actually worked out really well because I got to stay on and enjoy one more year with my team. Um, and yeah, it, was, it tries your patience, but it teaches you a lot of things. And I, I, it was actually a really fun year, even though I wasn't swimming. And what's your transition been like with like all the, because the team is different for every year. Like, have you felt like the transition's been every year, like even when you're redshirting? So I think that's one of the coolest things about a college team is that it's different every year. Um, they do, the team dynamic changes. It's really sad when people leave, but then freshmen come in and it's awesome. Um, I think personally, I've really enjoyed getting sort of getting older or being older each year on the team and seeing how I've transitioned more into a role of um, mentoring or guiding or being the old grandma person. <laughs> Um, who people look up to and to be able to share past experiences and be like, oh, it's okay, like, don't worry, this is this always happens every year, it's just a rough patch, we'll be fine, um, stuff like that. And so, yeah, and it's it's just it's just really fun to have, uh, we're a small team, so just to have a group of girls that you get to know really well and then have to, s have to say goodbye to some of them, but then you get to welcome new people in and get to know people again. Has it been cool too to see like where people have gone after graduation? Like, have, yeah. has anyone stayed in touch with Synchro, or what are people up to now? Yeah, um, because there's so few of us. Like in my lap, in my year. Um, so last year when I was a senior, there was three seniors, um, and we still keep in touch. And we're, one of them is in San Francisco, so she's she's close by. Um, another one is in Australia, still doing Synchro. So <laughs> we're sort of scattered all over the place and we don't see each other every day for m many hours, but um, we're still really good friends and still keep in touch. Yeah, and, and that's true, I think, even of the older alumni, um, the really old alumni, we don't completely know, but there's definitely like a group of people who keep in touch. Um, and then, do you have any significant memories from when you're in the pool, like during competition? Like, What's the, the feel like? practice versus competition? Yeah, um, I love competing. <laughs> it's probably one of my favorite parts. Um, it's sort of, it's a time where you get to show what you've been working on, and I think for me, I always see it as a, a chance to perform, um, and to perform for other people. And it's especially nice, I think, some of my favorite memories have been the times that we're competing at home just to have friends and to see them peeking at you before you swim and then hear them as you're walking out. And, and then once you're in the pool, that sort of memory becomes fuzzy, but then you get to make eye contact with people while you're swimming, and that's one of my favorite things, just to yeah, connect with people also, which you don't always get during practice because <laughs> there isn't anyone watching. Yeah, especially yeah. for your early morning ones. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then, what would you suggest a fan, like, how do they cheer for Synchro? Oh, whenever, w just cheer all the time, <laughs> if possible. Um, when you see something that you like, cheer louder. Um, when there's been a really long period underwater, um, cheer as soon as, so as people's heads pop up, because they really need to hear it. <laughs> um, cheer especially loud towards the end of the routine, because that's when it gets really tiring and you really need extra energy. A lot of, a lot of the time, like you can feed off the crowd or feed off the people cheering for you. So. Sorry, we're just going to pause for a second while they walk up. <laughs> Does that look like it's going okay? Yeah, it's going fine. You can't even see them. Oh, okay. So. From the sound perspective. Oh yeah, that's true. Because normally I have something that plugs into it. So that you guys get a mic to clip to your thing, but this camera doesn't have a mouth on it. Okay, so fans.
friends should cheer loud. <laughs> cheer loud all the time. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, what have you felt like has been like the most difficult part about balancing doing your sport and then academics? Yeah. Um, I think one of the biggest challenges has been, especially with product design, there's a lot of projects, has been to to figure out what what battles I'm willing to fight. Sort of, I can't do all the things that I want to do. Um, um, so sort of knowing my limits, what like what I can actually achieve and achieve well, and then making sure that I don't take on more than I I can handle. Um, and it's it's hard with projects because they become time consuming and life consuming. Um, but then to be able to say like no, I need to stop and go to sleep because I practice tomorrow morning, um, or to be able to just yeah, be able to say no and not 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 feel like I'm not doing a doing a good job or not good enough, but just knowing that I have, I have limits. I'm human, and I have to make choices accordingly. So. Oh, what have been some of your favorite projects? Oh, that's really hard. <laughs> There's or just describe like one or two of them. Yeah. So actually, one of my earliest projects was for this class that got me hooked on the product design mechanical engineering path. I was an interest in my freshman year. It was called Renaissance Machine Design, and it was so much fun. We essentially took um, the final project for that class is taking a, some sketch or picture out of a Renaissance drawing or find something make a scale model of it and then build it. So it was Renaissance machines, we made a chain pump that pumped water, um, would have been box driven, and yeah, and then we, we got to make it with Renaissance techniques, i.e. with our hands and wood, <laughs> no machines to help you. <laughs> um, yeah, and then we got it working, which is miraculous, and then we got to share it with this middle school nearby, and that was really fun. You didn't use the children as eyes, did you? No. <laughs> Yeah, but there have been some other really interesting things. Like right now, there's two projects that I'm involved in. One is uh, essentially a like a medical simulation device. It's for neonates uh, training an intubation technique trainer. So that's been really interesting because in the course of that, we've gotten to work with doctors and nurses, and um, you get to go out and do stuff. You're not just stuck in your room writing a paper or doing a problem set. It gets you out into the world. The other project is uh, we're working with Glide, which is an organization up in San Francisco, and they do homeless outreach. Um, so working with them to incorporate nutrition into their meals program. So it's not quite mechanical engineering, but it's sort of design and design process, which I'm really interested in. So, yeah. so after graduation, you said you're going to what do you want to? Um, so I'm not actually done with school because of the master's. I couldn't finish it this year, so I'm, I'll be around in school next year. <laughs> <laughs> which will be nice, actually. Um, and hopefully after that, finding some design-related job. Um, yeah, I'm not entirely sure what that looks like, but I, I'm passionate about design, so something of that role. Because hopefully people that are willing to give you a job will be watching this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, and then do you have any other like significant memories or like advice for people or anything else you'd like to share? I'd say, like, these are some of the best times in your life. Well, I, I haven't lived longer than this, so I don't know. But um, although it's really challenging sometimes, it's definitely been worth it. Sorry, can I start again? You can try and, like, to talk a little louder. To it. <laughs> Compete with the birds. Um, advice that I would give, um, yeah, just enjoy it because even though it's really challenging sometimes, especially with at this time of your life when you want to explore a lot of other things, um, it's a really cool opportunity to be able to do school and do your sport um, and do it at Stanford, which is an awesome place, and to do it with some of the most amazing people um, you'll ever meet. So don't be afraid to take hold of it and at the same time also enjoy life, like Karen said. Um, there's more to life than Synchro, there's more to life than school. Um, yeah, but enjoy it. And then, anyone you'd like to thank or anything? Uh, there's a lot of people to thank. <laughs> uh, 
Um, doesn't yeah. have to be an Oscar speech either. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, like Corinne said, there's teammates, coaches, a lot of, I'd say like sports med is underappreciated, uh, like our trainer Scott, the people in the weight room, Jason, and all the other interns, um, people at the pool, pool staff, um, yeah, and just even, I'd say, just the whole structure of Stanford, having all these resources available, and people who really want to help you, and who really care about what you're doing and who you are. Um, yeah, just, they're so thankful. <laughs> this, I, I'd say like a large part of why this sort of Stanford student experience is so great and, and it works so well um, is the people that fully support it and believe that it's something worth, worth working towards.